Susan Powder. Stop the insanity. Uh, oh. Mr. F, you're just playing cool. This is clever, of course, love Mr. Hill, Mr. Hero, I'm gonna be church. I see Mrs. Hosea, and I'm very afraid. Be afraid, be very afraid. Well, let's see who we got. <gasps> Mr. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Mr. Harry, oh, looking good, looking look good, looking sharp. Mr. McDonald. <laughs> Oh, God, Mr. 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 Davis, can we get a close up on Mr. Davis? I think it's beautiful. I think so. Ladies, she snapped that boy up. Dr. Vogel, lovely, of course.
right, my favorite teacher, although she is a sub, is by far Miss Delahy. Even though she is only about three foot, she's, she still packs a punch. Uh, I'll never forget the day that we we're, were in Hopewell and she started pushing me. This is a true story. And she honestly flipped me and started proceeding and hitting me and punching me and I remember that Scott, you were pretty hurt. <laughs> From then on I, I never I never underestimated that little three footer. <laughs> My favorite teacher is um the newly renowned Miss Davis because um she just seems to be very simple and get the point across and I always had trouble and um she just seems like a nice lady, young, active, hyperactive <laughs> It's the one-on-one -on -one with the student. It doesn't just teach a basic, broad aspect. Gets gets down one-on-one -on -one and helps you out when you need it. I first met Eon back in uh, 1972 when I was working on the underground uh, shoe stores in um, Greater Quebec. Well, I've been involved in the fire service for many years, but uh, I've actually only been riding active for three years due to the fact that I wasn't old enough. Um, well, I plan to definitely go to school um, after I graduate, and then eventually after I'm done there, I want to maybe own my own place and get famous and have lots of kids. David Copperfield? Um, I think he's a really good magician and a few years when he first got started, I think it was the late 70s when he got started professionally, he was good for a sleight of hand, but now he's, I think he's too theatrical. Being in the pool five days a week, like, always like, I don't know, that's annoying, but I do enjoy working with kids. Yeah. Yes, I have a job, and should you repeat the question? Will you quit doing that? I gotta just love this high school. I mean, I love everyone in it. I mean, I love this man. I love this man. And in about 30 seconds, I'm probably gonna grab Lucas. Oh, uh, well. There's not that much to say about Hopewell. It's just, it's a town like any other, and people think it's really rural because it looks that way. And if you just look a little farther, there's a lot more there than one would think. I've taken three years of performing arts, and we just got done doing West Side Story, which is a fun musical. Um, I'm going to go to Mercer County, and um, I hope, you know, I... Shut up, man. Over the summer, I have a house on Long Beach Island, and I usually go there for the summer and live there all summer, and that's probably what I'm going to do, just stay there and... Relax. Um, we have a volunteer for a mascot. It's I'm not a mascot. So, yeah. and I've grown up <laughs> in the firehouse. <laughs> Probably have to say going to the gym. And um, drive my car. Um, I took a picture of a box outside of my house in the woods. And um, I had it enlarged, and it's on my on my wall. It's a really good picture. Four years is just too long for me, so I want to get out of here. I know I got to go to school still, but at least it'll it'll be on my flexible. Uh, what type of career do you plan on doing in the future? <laughs> what plans do you have for the summer? Well, I like like medical stuff, and I'm taking anatomy, and uh, I enjoy it. It's fun. Um, it's just the excitement and the fun, uh, hanging out with the people down. And I'm going to Bucknell University, and sociology and psychology. Why? Because I like to talk to people and help people out. Have you been seeing anything lately? My name is Seth. Seeing visuals, what? Hi, my name is Jen Wilbur, and I'll be going to Davidson College next year, and hopefully I'll be a biologist in four years. <laughs> Why? Um, because I like to work with animals and dead things and live things. And I'm going to go babysitting in Colorado, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's probably it, and uh, volunteer at 4-H camp, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. My name is Melanie, and this summer I'm babysitting. What are you going to do in the nightlife? Uh, I don't 
don't know. I might travel a little. I might go to California, actually. My name's Kevin Hart, and I'm going to work at a golf course this summer uh, and uh, no. have fun with my friends. What, what are you going to do in the nightlife? I don't know. Have fun with friends, probably. Go to some parties. Jennifer Floyd, and I'm going to go on a camping trip with my friends and basically hang out. No. Um, Stephanie Regolia, and I'm 18. Today's my birthday. And uh, what else am I supposed to tell you? About our summer. Your summer. My summer is going to be spent in Seaside working in a cafe that my sister and her fiance just bought. My name is Debbie, and I don't know. You have no idea? I have no clue. None? None. My name is Beth Hoyt, and I'm going to major in business in college because I want to go into sports marketing. A typical day at Hovaz is like, I get up in the morning, and I drive my sister and my friend Karen to school, and we park in the parking lot. And I come in, and I sit through her room, and then my first the first class I have is marketing. I need help. Wait, Katie, help me. Right, intellectual. It's very intellectual. Um, diverse with different levels. Um, yes, culturally aware. After we eat, we'll play with the ball or other games. It's good to go out for lunch because you can do whatever you want. Sometimes I'll even just skip lunch and take a nap. Usually we'll leave right after the bell rings. We'll go back to either my house or one of their houses. I'll eat their food and they'll eat my food. It works out pretty good because it's cheaper that way. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've had a few customers where I was just about ready to rip their head off. <laughs> because, you know, they just they just treat you like you're nothing basically and you're just you have to please them just for the job so on 518 and 31 there was a major motor vehicle accident involving a uh, tractor trailer and a, a honda civic the tractor trailer was uh, leaking diesel smacked into the side of karen's at brookside and uh the back of the car was pretty much ripped off actually so bear my butt <laughs> yeah it hurt a lot I shoveled a lot, I shoveled my driveway, and basically got cabin fever and got depressed. Flipped out? I didn't flip out. No, I didn't get depressed. I just got sick of solitude, basically. Throw things? I threw things, yes. No, I think I might go to France for like four weeks and work and stuff here. But there's a possibility that I might go to Africa for two months. I'm Karen Kaner, a senior here, um, and I'm going to be working in American National Can painting machines. My name is Dieter Drawing, and I'm probably going to work a lot at the coffee shop and hang out with my friends a lot. I'm going to work at Greenleaf Landscapes with Doug Cromwell because we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to work hard and make some money because we're all kind of poor. It was gross. Tapioca rash? No. It's just gross. I just don't want to hear about that. But it happened, so it's good that, I don't know. I wouldn't read the book, let's just put it that way. My name is Daria Agilis. This summer I'm planning on taking a trip maybe to Italy or going to Indiana, doing a lot of riding horses or going to the beach, stuff like that. Um, I plan to go U and H next year. Uh, nightlife, I guess, should be fun, hopefully. We'll go out to the beach a lot. How about a party, stuff like that? Mike McLaughlin, um, I'm going to Rowan University for fine arts education. And after that, I hope to get my master's degree and then my doctorate and become a professor of uh, fine arts. Really? <laughs> I'm going to be a hairstylist. Why do you want to? Why do I want to? Because that's what I like to do. All right, hi, I'm Mike Bonick. Uh, I'm going to uh, CIA, Culinary Institute of America, because I'm going to become a chef. I like cooking a lot. The period's over right now. Uh, this summer, I'm going to be going cross country, uh, three, four weeks in a Winnebago. I'm Mary Kate Kaminsky. I'll be going to High Point University in North Carolina, uh, majoring in biology to become a DNA analysis. And I'm going to Texas this summer. Your task. My name is Jen Spellman. I need you, Sue Comfrey, please to hold on. I'm going to Tasman State University in Maryland. Who is the vice president? Uh, Al Gore. <laughs> Who is the um, secretary of uh, laundry? Laundry, uh, Diamond Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yep. Um, good luck. <laughs> and I hope everyone has fun at college. That's all I have to say.
Now I'm going to college, and that's about it. Mm. Uh, you going to make door stops for the art room? No.
superhero you know who would it be and why uh, I'd probably be Betty Boop <laughs> she gets all the guys Mighty Mouse why because he's tiny but he kicks everybody's butt and he gets all the chicks Underdog, or um, I don't know. Underdog, I like a lot. I think he's he really knows what what's going on. He really knows how to fight crime. He's really good. I think it'd be Spider-Man because he has those moves. Like, let me demonstrate. And that's pretty cool. So I thought that um yeah Spider Man would definitely be my yeah. cartoon character superhero. I think I'd be Tinkerbell. Because she's very little, but she can fly. So people wouldn't really know if she was there or not. And you could find out a lot of stuff you wouldn't normally find out. I would be the little mermaid. Because like even though she couldn't talk and she lost her voice and everything, she like love still prevailed and her and Eric traveled off and had a great life. We saw the four corners of the you know like the world. The world. We stopped there. It was 120 degrees out. Um, let's see. We also saw a big water flood that wiped out our motel room. <laughs> we saw a bear up close and live. I got a picture. Ten feet away. And it was a black bear and it was raiding the um, garbage cans up on the top of a mountain. We went from hut to hut up in New Hampshire. Um, and it was really gorgeous and we carried the packs on our backs and met a lot of neat people. And we heard a coyote howling in the wilderness and the rest of the summer I babysat. Scott, I don't know what shows we went to this summer. <laughs> I forget. I saw Ani DeFranco last week, but that doesn't count because it wasn't over the summer. Franco, Franco, GB Vol Damio, Patore, he, she, um, Fang. Chinaglius. Fung. Funga. Funga. An Ewok. <laughs> I don't think an Ewok would do a whole lot. Open entrails everywhere in the floor would eat them, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a wild boar. Some 400 pound guy named Francis just we got in a fight and he kicked me with a steel boot. And I'm like, this is all I got, but you know, the ambulance is on the way to take him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like expect it to do that. That's not why I do, put it in there, but if that's the way you feel, then sure. Made a lot of money. Goats. Well, it's already spent on uh, things that I've bought and uh, gotten rid of. Now you get lost. I would be, I would be Homer Simpson. <laughs> and I would be Marge Simpson. You have the, uh, so, you, so you like, you want to be bald and and uh, drink a lot of beer, huh? I wouldn't want to be Marge Simpson. And you want to have a fat fro, huh? Yeah, I want to put my hair, like, way up there. They would both share cheeseburgers and eat them all up, because Mr. Curly loves cheeseburgers. <laughs> what kind of bear, Nick? A big fuzzy one to drive him insane. So your goal is to drive Mr. Curly insane. My goal is to drive everyone insane. Work, work, work. No. It'd be 
some big monster that would tear him to pieces because I don't like him. <laughs> I'd, well, he'd be he'd be living at my house, and I'd usually I, I'd find some maybe a ladder next to my window and just get on him. Then I could see different aspects of the world by being this high up. Nothing but work. Yes. Rabbit dog. <laughs> If I was going to bring a truckload of Aardvox into the school, you'd think I'd have some parental permission, or at least some sort of written permission from Mr. Oliver, but no. Some idiot comes in here with a whole truckload of long nose Aardvox. Government. It's not democratic, it's fluffy. Hey, Mr. Flagel, I don't like your tie. <laughs> it's no good. We're here in the scary tie trend. We finally broke the wrestling team's long time losing streak with the tie versus trend, but today on Friday, we go up against Borden Town. Oh, really? I thought um, Sicilians were, are, are darker than. Well, then maybe my dad lied to me and said that they were light, you know, just so I wouldn't feel so like. Does your dad feed you lies often? Um, no. My daddy loves me. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Why'd your parents name me Carrie? Um, I was named after an Australian tennis player. His name was? Carrie. No. I don't know her last name. You're not out of town. I don't think she was. Her name was Carrie? Well, Sean, I really like your t-shirt. I think yeah. it's very cool. And I like Helen's shirt, too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And now I have to go to the library and finish my IR project. Is that okay? Okay. Thanks. My four years here at Hobo, I hated every minute of it. Bye. I think Hoval is a large, seething mass of conformity. Okay, there, there were times when her, she, it, the, <laughs> when, when the teacher refused to cooperate with the students just because they understood the homework. Well, Hovel's all right. Um, I'm glad to be getting out of here. Of course, it's my last year, but um, looks like I might be failing a couple classes. <laughs> Adrian Seymour is beside me now. And we're going to talk about something very special to us. It starts like this. Yeah. I'm going on a trip to Belize or what have you. What are you going to bring? An artichoke? Maybe a vacation for a week, but nothing else but work. Because I'm just an old-fashioned girl. I like to brush my teeth in the morning and night to keep my teeth squeaky clean. Um, <laughs> that's it. I'm looking all over the place. Let's do that one again. Um, I, well, I actually own like six or seven of them. I got, I start off, I got two Firebirds, 69 Pontiac Firebirds. Um, the one that crashed, the other one I still got that one. Okay, okay. Um, I work at the Pennington Bagel Experience in Pennington. And um, I wait on customers there and... An average day at school well, starts off by waking up at some time that I'm not sure of and then actually getting out of bed at like 6.50. So I never really know when I wake up because I just sleep. Yo, I love this school, man. I can't leave. I have to be here, man. This track, Mr. Oldfield, he is the man. Everybody should run track with Mr. Oldfield. Also, working home, because it's cheaper. <laughs> um, I eat, when I go home, I usually eat just a can of tuna fish. It's good. I make it myself. Uh, I like to go out west to the big stuff with the big boys. <laughs> you know. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Would you rather food than cards, or cards than food? Well, it depends on how hungry I am, obviously. Well, how hungry are you? Right now, not very. What did you have for breakfast? Jeez. Did you fall asleep? Yeah. And were they scared? Was who scared? Were the teachers scared? Was Mr. Crowley scared? I don't know. But... And then I'm gonna. I might go to the Olympics, but I'm not. I'm not sure about that. My parents are still happy with the name. My big graduation present. I'm not sure. But shopping the Pennington Market is good. The more you shop, the more I can make. So just shop there, so I can make more money. So I can print more spackle. So you can buy more spackle. So you can read more spackle. Lifeguarding is very boring and annoying. All we do is sit on our butts and yell at kids all day. White zombie. Yeah. 
Um, what do you like about this band? Normally, I go to Paint and Bagel Experience, and I get my new thing is BLTs. I like the BLTs at Paint and Bagel Experience, and. This isn't going out. Why do you like to go to your friend's house? Well, I like going to my friend's house because it's free and sometimes there's some really good food there. I am the Unabomber. Uh, the, you, this is the last time you're going to see me because I'm going to go underground. But I just want to let you know that this school may be the next target. <laughs> At Heart Cyclery, I. I repair bikes and I build them from scratch and I, you know, do the basic repairs and stuff and spin my head around and clip little things on it. I work as a diesel mechanic, a uh, uh, just a regular worker. I uh, load trucks and work on any type of motor that needs to be worked on and stuff like that. Basically, I do reception work and take care of the customers for when they're getting their car fixed. And what I like best about it is I have a lot of free time, like besides when the phones are ringing. Not long descriptive sentences. All right, and I went to, I bought a car. It's a beautiful red car, has a, has a sunroof and, and a spoiler. More descriptiveness. Get off their ski and dig into the snow and pack a jump and then uh, go up and down and so you can get the highest and do the most tricks, stuff like that. Angela, I understand that you traveled last summer across the, the west of the United States? Yeah, I went up to Wyoming to uh, Yellowstone National Park and to the Grand Tetons out in Wyoming. And we also traveled to uh, Dinosaur National Park. We traveled around. Thank you, Angela. Rob's Eric Mack. Say, ah, you know, 
Love you, Todd. Nectar life flows for sweet muse, goddess angel. Gray hearts, golden words, knife edge truth. Ice crystal burns the walk of gods and devils. Water sways a glowing stream. A smile where black angels tread, a white glory, iridescent, immaculate. <laughs>
senior picnic and I tripped over the sidewalk and I landed with my arm straight out like this and I have a small fracture in my elbow now. And well, it took a book. Can I say something? Uh, it's nice if you say something. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I was trying to go visit my best friend. She lives in Brick County for a years. And I'm hopefully majoring in marine biology. Marine biology? What else? Uh, I don't know. Maybe work at SeaWorld or something. <laughs> okay. Loudly say, say who where? you are and where you're going. Call. Okay. I'm Cheryl Pavin. This is Jamie, Jamie Pavin. Um, we're going both to Trent State College. Um, why? Why? Are majoring in accounting? I don't know what we're majoring in. Yeah, she's doing accounting. I'm like paying. I was doing accounting. I'm going to University of Southern California and I'm majoring in biology, anthropology, and pre med.
is your prom theme. Oh, <laughs> 